Hey yo, hey yo, this is the Show Life TV, and I have my guy Fo Epic in the building today, man, to bless us. I really appreciate you coming in. How are you doing today, my guy? I'm straight, I'm straight. How you doing? I'm doing good, man. Just out here in California. You know what I'm saying? Just getting the work done, man. I really appreciate everybody for supporting, man. For sure. Ah, oh, man. So let's get into it, you know, because I know we got a lot of people out there that really want to hear, man. You know what I'm saying? You. And you know what I'm saying, what's going on, you know, the new the new music, you know what I'm saying, just what's what's next on the menu. You, you, you feel me? That part, that part. All right, man. So let's go ahead just for the just for the fans that don't know who you are, could you introduce yourself? My name Fo Epic. I'm out of California. You know, I'm forty three years old. I'm into, you know, a, a whole lot of a whole lot of, you know, music, tattooing, all type of shit. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And um, how long have you been doing? Now we we have talked. He did one of my tattoos. Dope ass fucking artist. If you guys need a tattoo, holla at my boy. Now how yeah. long have you been doing tattooing? Uh, I'm gonna say probably since about ninety seven, nineteen ninety seven, ninety eight. Yep. Good years, man. Good years. And with that, like. Have you ever done any tattoos that you feel like was like need to be seen? You know what I'm saying, like that that top tattoo. Yeah, I got a I got a couple out there. I did a couple back pieces. I did some thigh pieces. You feel me? My little bro, rest in peace up there. My little cuzzo, he was out of Compton, so I I did a, a Compton back piece on him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shout out to D, man. Shout yeah, out to D, man. Yeah, rest in peace, D, man. Yeah, you ain't ever forgotten, bro. Um, so let me ask you about some music. Let's get into some music. For sure. Um, you being in the mu music industry, you know, you usually get people that are influenced influencers to help you kind of like grow. Um, do you have any influencers that you feel like helped you in the rap game to grow? I really, I really don't, man. All the influencers that I that I looked up to are dead, man. They they not even here. Like uh -huh. Tupac, Biggie Smalls, motherfucking. Um, What's the other nigga? Um, the crazy nigga out of out of out of Brooklyn, man. The nigga that was from Wu Tang. Um, old dirty bastard. ODB, shout out ODB. You feel me? Uh, all peace. that. My nigga DMX. Yeah, all mine is gone. Man, DMX, man, rest in peace, DMX too, man. And so, um, if you were to put yourself in a category of music, what category do you feel that you would kind of fit in, or do you feel like you're moving in your own lane? I'm a, I'm gonna put it like this. I'm, I'm diverse. You know, I, I can actually like, fuck with any beat. You know what I'm saying? Blast any beat. You know what I'm saying? As long as it ain't slow, it got a nice tempo to it. Yeah, I could jump on it. So I'm, I'm like diverse, man. Yeah, yeah. And that's, and that's good because like, you know, we were having this conversation um, about being original in your own lane. You know what I'm saying? Like, still kind of being able to, to to do different things but at the same time you're still you is being an artist and not changing right um, I completely understand that man um okay so this is a question that I I, I usually get different opinions and um, you know just just kind of different thoughts on and uh, it's the state of hip-hop in 2020 in 2024 how do you feel about the state of hip-hop in 2024 man do you feel like it's getting better you feel like the hip-hop is getting worse I mean it's getting worse for the simple fact everybody is jumping on one genre. You know? Mm -hmm. Everybody doing trap. Like, get off of that shit, man. Not everybody. That shit ain't for everybody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And majority of them niggas ain't really killers, bro. Yeah. For real. It's a watered down situation. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. seen somebody else do some shit, now they want to go talk about it. Like they did it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That ain't, that ain't it. That ain't... I don't even like listening to that shit. Yeah. For real. I don't like listening to that pop pow, shoot em up, bang bang. Mm -hmm. I wanna, I wanna, I'm a, I like talking about bitches, money, and money. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Fast cars and shit like that. Not no guns, bro. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's out. Yeah, that's out. Especially nowadays. Cause y'all flashing guns in the video, y'all still get shot and killed. No For disrespect real. to anybody. Nigga, if I was a cameraman, I wouldn't even wanna be there, bro. For real. I wouldn't wanna be around all that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Nigga, I gotta make it home to my kids, nigga. The hell? 
For real. Yeah. That 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 gun in the camera, you know, that shit is crazy, man. I, I actually on one of my uh reaction videos I spoke about that, you know, just the image, man, like if you want to make it right now, that's not the way to go. Everybody's doing the same thing. Like that shit is not the way to go, man. I think it's more creative uh right. outlook on stuff right now, you know. Um so um usually we get into the you know what changes you or what, what what do you think about when you are growing you know um so in a real life situation what has it has it been anything that inspired you in a real life situation to to change to grow oh yeah most definitely like real life you said has it been yeah. it's been numerous <laughs> numerous of things bro like i'm gonna I'm just on some real life shit, I'ma just talk about the last time, the last time I got shot. Like, that really changed my shit. Like, for real. I really woke up and didn't, I didn't want to live no more after that shit. You know? I thought I was gonna die. All type of shit. And then, um, shit, I just got like a whiff of something, man, that told me man to leave the streets alone get about that shit yeah you know this the next time not <clears throat> the next time not it might not be the you know yeah. a good time for you yeah and what was your thoughts being hit like what was, what was the first thing that you like damn these niggas called me again because that was like the third the fourth time mm -hmm. yeah that was like the fourth time that's another reason why i call myself faux epic because that was four times nigga tried to kill me and I'm still here. Like, you know? Yeah. So. Because sometimes first, the first shot takes him out. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes, you know what I'm saying? So, to, I understand. That's a blessing. You're yeah, here for bro. a reason. Yeah, bro. And then every, like, I done been into a motherfucking, I done been wearing that motherfucking halo thing. Nigga, I had a whole fucking screws in my head. Jaw broken on both sides. Fucked up. And what year was that? It's like probably like 2010. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. Fucked up out there doing drugs and shit. Like, all that shit, bro. Yeah. All that shit is a no go now. Like, for real. Yeah. And if you wanted to, a young man in the footsteps that you see that are like coming behind you, what would you tell them, you know, to try to, because I know it's hard to tell, you know what I'm saying, young folks, in man, nowadays. Yeah, live your life, man. Don't fuck around with that game banging shit. That game banging shit ain't shit. That shit ain't nothing. Man, get your money, take care of your family, and move on. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Go elevate yourself, man. Yeah. Now, when you talk about family, I know your family very well. Loving people, man. Um, how is the relationship with the family that is like you know supporting you and helping you? along these the, this way oh know? shit this is my gang nigga on the real this family over here nigga stick together nigga like the mexicans nigga for real nigga we do all this shit together nigga if you don't got it i got it you feel me like if the kids need it i'm there for it like for real mm -hmm. and it's vice versa with the girls and you know my parents and shit like we we take care of each other over here yeah yeah. Like, for real, for real. Yeah. And so, talking about family, man, you know, when you get to a point where, you know, you have so much family that's looking, you know, at you and, you know, grow. If you could speak to yourself, your past self, knowing who you are, what would you say to yourself that you know now? You stupid motherfucker. That's what I would say. You you were stupid, ungrateful, and 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 whatever happened to you deserved it to happen to you, for real. Cause I didn't give a fuck about shit back then. I really did, man. I didn't. I started my jail career at like 14 years old. Yeah. All the way till I got a, into the county jail, which was adult. I don't think I was 18. Coming from them Hoover Streets, Figaro Street, Florence, Manchester, all that shit, Vermont, 
all that shit. Yeah. 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 If y'all know about them streets, man. Shout out, shout, shout, shout out to Fed, shout out to Hoover, man. Shout out to Vermont. Shout out yeah. to Century. Shout out to Bell Long. Manchester, all <laughs> Manchester. that. Manchester. Florence, all, all that. All of that, man. All of that. So, what are um, some new things that you're getting into? What's what's a what's a you know the new project? You know what's what's the, what's the move like? What's what, what, right what? now? I've been I've been focused on real life work. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I got a fucking job now, mm -hmm. so nigga been doing that shit because all this other shit ain't paying the bills. And that's where a you lot know? of you young artists need to understand. Ain't paying the bills on time. Mm -hmm. At that, right? You know, right. Let alone not paying the bills. So. Yeah. You feel me? That's true. So, That's true, man. so I, I see you were over there smoking some good, man. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Man, well, you hit yeah, let me hit that. Let's see what you know. Uh. What I'm saying. And uh, what kind of weed were you, what kind of weed were you smoking over there, man? I know we want to give oh, a shout yeah, out to man, the weed. Shout out to the plugs, man. Yes. To the plugs, man. That Sun Coastal. I ain't gonna show y'all the bags. I'm gonna just say the name. But I will show y'all the evidence bag, though. You feel me? Shout out to that Sun Coastal. That Sun Coastal, where them boys at? The the farmers, you feel me? Yeah. And then that evidence bag, man. That evidence. That's for real, real for real. Go put that on the yeah, you see that? That evidence bag. Shout out to them them people over there. You know? And where all this came from, shout out to the connected crew out there in Long Beach. Shout out to them. Yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this all right. this all gas over here. All gas. Indicas and hybrids. That's mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Yeah. That thirty and up shit, nigga. This the thirty and up club. Yeah. Well, sorry, uh, you guys in the back, <laughs> cause your boy is smoking right now. Your boy Cali Bravo is smoking in the building, and yes, it is some gas, man. I want to shout out them, man, for sure. And if y'all are anywhere close around, y'all need to go ahead and connect with them. Mm. For real. So, connect with the connected in Long Beach. Right, right, right. So before we get out of here, um, is it any, sh any any more shout outs, any artists that we should be looking out for? Is it anything that, um, also, your YouTube? Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. What's, what, what, what is the connect to the YouTube and what are you doing with the YouTube? The YouTube, the YouTube, it's a it's a YouTube page for the news, you know. It ain't it ain't really too much on music, but I'm just like doing news. So if some if some niggas that's doing music happen to come up in some news, then yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying. I'ma throw it on the channel, but it's just a news channel. Okay. You feel me? If y'all got any news that y'all wanna um, publicize to the public, you know. Yeah. Okay. Hit my link. Okay. And how would you they uh, go by uh, going to the page? They can go to merch.tv, merch.com. They can go to Juice Bear, two for the email. You feel me? And what else? What else I got? Um, knock down for the Instagram if y'all want to contact me. Okay. Just DM me. Okay. For real, for real. All right. And we can get something going, man. And uh, I don't want to say that. No KK. D O W N or Instagram, knockdown for real. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And uh, you might be hearing some show like West, show like Los Angeles. So you know you guys. Really? Uh, you it guys really, it ain't no, it ain't no artists that I'm really looking at right now. You no. feel me? Cause like I said, I've been busy. I've been working, so I couldn't. Even, I can't really answer that question, bro. True. True. You know. True. But it's some, it's some niggas out here. It's some niggas out here. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, shout out to my boy three. Oh yeah, yeah, Bob Stick for sure, for sure, yeah. for sure, Bob Stick for sure. Yeah, we ain't forgot about you. Oh me, yeah, yep, Bob Stick. Damn, what's my other little nigga? Fuck, see, I be forgetting these niggas' names. Yeah. But for sure, three though. Yeah, yeah, that nigga Bob Stick. Yeah, yeah. Three, come on, come on on the show, man. Come on on show, show like TV, man. Let's talk. Um, well, I want to thank you so much, bro for being for sure. on the show and just chopping it up with us man and you know what i'm saying just giving us a little view on your life bro yeah yeah that's what yeah. it do man that's what it do i'm gonna I'm I'm get back to the music in a minute you feel me i'm gonna get back to the music in a minute i'm gonna drop i'm gonna drop some on my page i'm gonna see if y'all really fuck with a nigga i'm gonna see if y'all really fuck with a nigga and i'm gonna send some shit to bravo so he'll be able to he'll be able to you know what i'm saying connect with me yes, from y'all yes sir 
And y'all yeah. make sure y'all make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe, man. All the information will be in the description. Um, we're gonna make sure to get back with them. You never know. Epic, we need it. We, we we might need a story time from you. Yeah, about that. We might need a story time about from you, that. man. Yes, about sir. That. Yes, sir. About well, I want to thank you so much. This is the Show Life TV, and we out of here.